Now I couldn't end without talking about one thing that follows on from insight. If you're going to be developing insight, you're going to have to give up something in return. I'm not just going to ask you to work harder. So I'm going to talk to you about PowerPoint. You've seen some pretty good presentations today, and I'm sure yesterday. And I tell you in advance, I'm going to give you my thoughts on PowerPoint presentations. And I've broken every rule, I think, this morning. But here goes. You've all heard of the 3D principle. I like the 3D principle because it's my initials. And one of my nicknames is uh, 3D, Triple D. That's on polite days. So I'm going to talk about the 3D principle as far as it relates to our partnership, our relationship, sharing what work you've done for us. The first D is do. The second D that I'm going to use is delegate. And the third is dump or delete. So my first plea to you is do. Do tell us a story. Please don't go through the questionnaire and give a table or a graph for every single question in the questionnaire order and I end up with a 200 slide presentation. Tell me a story. What's in it for me? How are you going to make a difference to the business based on the understanding of the consumer that you glean from the work you've done for us? The second D is delegate. And that's what we do to you when we commission work from you. We trust you've done the analysis. Don't prove it to us. Again, don't show me those 200 slides, please. And that obviously follows on to the dump it. Can you please dump 99% of all the slides and graphs you thought you were going to show to us? Because I don't want to see them. Now that's a bit wordy. And uh, I know Dan Pink told you yesterday, yesterday about using the left brain and the right brain. And I've been using the right brain there, but um, I know there's a lot of you that are more comfortable with the left brain, so I'm going to give you another alternative solution to the 3D, which is the 10, 20, 30. Easy to remember, you see. Ten slides. It's got to be a compelling story, as I said. You've got to tell me a story. You can do that in ten slides. Secondly, you have to have a choice made. Do you want somebody to read what's on the slide, or do you want them to listen to you? If you want them to listen to you, maximum 20 words per slide. And if, I know it's a problem, and don't count, there's more than 20 on that slide. <laughs> but um, if, you've got, if you've got to do a slide with more than 20 words, then at least add a build or something. And the last one is 30 minutes. I think I've already gone over, but present for 30 minutes and then let us discuss the results together. This shouldn't be a formal presentation. I said I know Nestle's formal, but we're trying to change it. Nestle's on the move. Help me to help Nestle change. So a 30-minute presentation, 10 slides, tell me a story, and we'll really be happy and we'll commission lots more work with you. So to end... Um, as you've noticed, I do like internet and YouTube and everything. I found this um, clip about PowerPoint presentations, and it's from a comedian called Don McKillen. Can't read his writing. Don Mc McKillen. Never heard of him. Has anybody in the US heard of him? Ooh, I've got a couple. Sorry, I've never heard of him. But um, he's got a presentation on PowerPoint. And I know none of you do all of this. What I would like you to do is go back and share it with your people that are coming to talk to us and coming to present. Um, he's going to talk about some of the things that I've mentioned, but a lot more. And I hope you find it engaging enough to share with your colleagues back that haven't had the privilege of coming here to Mexico. Of course, we never do any of that, do we? Luckily, I changed the defaults. I like comic. Didn't have it, so I'm glad. Okay, a couple of last thoughts. Albert Einstein. We can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. 
Today I'd like to think that we're starting a new relationship, a true partnership, where both you and I help each other to deliver profitable consumer centricity. I certainly believe that we're both ready for change. And as Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. I'm not looking to change the world, just our working relationship, and I believe I have a small, or not so small group, of very thoughtful, committed people.